Jeremiah 23 verse 24 Can any hide himself in secret places that I shall not see him? Save the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Do not I fill heaven and earth? Save the Lord. Giving all praises on and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Wachakodash. And double honor to mighty chairs, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Yakim worldwide that are sincere and serious in doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mokar Kadash. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 1 and 2. To you all, yes, on the brother, disciple Kosha Banyamin. And as you see here, Germany placed children in, in, in pedophile foster care for decades. So for decades, by the way, for decades Esau Edom had been sending these children to foster care homes, but <laughs> there were pedophiles awaiting them, man. So we play a little bit of this video here, man. You see, the Lord sees everything, man. The Lord sees everything, man. So. have been placed in the foster care of paedophile men there in the past. A damning study by Hildesheim University also says the authorities either ignored evidence of abuse or were complicit in letting it continue. Cases as recent as 2003 and detailed stem back to the 1960s. Peter Oliver has been speaking with some of the victims who came forward. Decades of abuse carried out by those put in a position to protect the most vulnerable in society. For 30 years, starting in the 1970s, Berlin authorities placed children in the care of a convicted paedophile named as Fritz H. I spoke to two of his victims to protect their right to anonymity. They'll be named only as Sven and Marco. Our daily lives were dominated by instructions. We were shielded from the outside world like a sect. Most of the time we faced violence. If we wanted to go out or meet someone else, we were intimidated and told these people were bad, that we should have nothing to do with them. If we wanted to go anyway, we were forbidden. Every day it was mental and physical mistreatment, and we're only realizing this now. We were forced to do things we wouldn't normally do, because we were threatened. That was our life. The worse the treatment, the more you felt this person was important to you. Every day with this man was a fight for survival, and a fight to preserve yourself. What makes this all the more troubling is that the lives of these men, as well as others, were essentially being toyed with as part of an experiment by then venerated psychologist Helmut Kentler. Even after his death in 2008, Kentler was regarded as a founder of modern sexology. He was, in effect, little more than a matchmaker, putting neglected children into the care of predators. We learned about this experiment when Dodds and Nentwick. You all really hearing this here? <laughs> you all really understand what's going on here? This, 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 this is the man he saw either. This is their whole empire, and you see what they've done, what what they've uh, done to their own people, man. This could say is um. To whom will he be good? Let me see if we find out, man. Hold a minute. Born in 2017. My thought was this can't be true. I was not a mere product of chance. I was deliberately selected by the Berlin branch of the SPD party, the ruling party at the time, that hired a mercenary to destroy our lives in an experiment. When we heard about it, we felt anger and pure bewilderment. What particularly bothers us is that the names of those responsible are missing, but there must be a further investigation. In my opinion, this is one of the greatest crimes of the post-war era. The fact that it was really an experiment is shameful and very humiliating. It was tolerated for decades. No one ever came along and asked how we were doing, how life with our foster father was going. Nobody ever came over to check. Those responsible are still sitting in offices. Yeah, so let me get this scripture here quick, huh? This is the book of... Um, this is the book of Ecclesiasticus.
14 and verse 5. Right? He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. You see that? You see that, man? So we go back here, man. Or enjoying their pensions. They're trying to hide behind a statute of limitations to torpedo another investigation. It's shameful that the perpetrator, the organization, is hiding behind legal quibbles to avoid shedding light on it. This criminal organization should not be behind the investigation. The care system in Germany has changed dramatically since Kendler's time when it comes to who can act as a foster parent. But authors of a study into the Kendler experiment have told RT that there is no way his crimes were carried out without the Berlin Welfare Office being directly involved. In Germany, foster care is the responsibility of youth welfare offices. So children and adolescents who live in foster families always grow up under state observation. The thing that occurred in the foster homes we examined could not have happened without the knowledge of officials in the youth welfare authorities. There has never been a state investigation into the actions of Kentler and his experiment. Berlin senators told us they are pushing for a nationwide examination to look at the real scale of the abuse. Since we have nationwide connections, further research cannot be limited only to Berlin. The Center for Education, Youth and Family has said that she wants to submit an application to the Conference of Ministers to deal with sexual violence in foster homes. The victims of abuse say the knowledge of the Berlin government makes them complicit in the crimes. Sven and Marco are pushing for legal action today after having been failed by the authorities then. The Berlin Senate is 100% involved. The Berlin Senate initiated it and then tolerated it. It's already been admitted verbally, but not legally. From the very beginning, the only thing that mattered to them was how to keep the problem small. Then criminal charges were put forward. We filed charges and the Senate kept in touch with us. Since then, there has been no contact with the Senate. It's impossible to build up such an organization on this scale without state help. We expect justice. Our lives have been destroyed, we are unable to work, and we have become aware that we are just a pile of misery. We were put in this situation by the government deliberately. It was not an accident, as we thought until now. It is a matter of course that the Senate will make amends. The Senate has offered us 10,000 euros in return for us taking no further action against it. The names of those responsible and the consequences for these people are still missing. As long as it stays like that, things are not over. This is a particularly harrowing story of exploitation and failure to protect those the state was expressly directed to protect. The torpedo and other. Yeah, so there you have it. There you have it. Right, the scripture says, um, the scripture says in the book of, um, so like here, Luke 18, so like here, Luke chapter 8, verse 17, for nothing is mere secret. That shall not be mere manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. See that? And Esau Edom. Ah, uh, boy, let me tell you, boy. Um, so that can be done. His man has no. His your welfare is not his priority. Money is his priority. Power is his priority. You see? Right. The book of Proverbs 17 and 9. He that covereth a transgression. That what Esau did, boy. Trying to cover your tracks, huh? He that covereth a transgression seeketh love. But he that repeateth a matter spareth very friends. And this is Esau eating all the way, boy. All the way this is Esau Edom. You see? He destroyed these men's lives. You see? 
This this man's a destroyer. This man's a destroyer. You see? He's a destroyer. <laughs> so why put your trust in him? Why put your trust in this society be? Right? Real thing. So anyhow, um, you should get the point. He saw Eden boy and this child abuse, this pedophile. Saints, say, yo, saints, um, it was Jeffrey Epstein, then Harvey Weinstein, then, then, uh, what's your name? Maxine, what's your name? Maxine, you are? Maxine, um, Gisseline or something like that, right? He saw it being exposed all over, but the Lord is just showing, he saw, he's showing the nations, he saw his nakedness be. You see? Right? In fact, let me get that shot, shot, right? The Lord is showing the world, he saw his nakedness be. I will show the nations that he's nakedness. Right? Isaiah 47 and um, 3. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. You see, so we've seen all Esau. What Esau had hidden, he didn't want the world to know, is being uncovered. So that means their power is dwindling. You see, because their greatest power is secrecy. But because the Lord is exposing them, it's dwindling. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yeah. Thy shame shall be seen, yeah. Everything they're doing, man. These pedophile rings, Pizza Gate, Epstein Island, Holly Weird. Everything getting exposed, man. I will take vengeance and they will not meet thee as a man. You see? So, hey, the Lord is exposing Esau either, man. Right? So let me get one last preset, Obadiah. Obadiah. Smallest book in the Bible, boy. But the most powerful, huh? Obadiah 2. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen that were greatly despised. So you you so called with you so called with people. You're being despised amongst these other nations, man. You see? Jumping down to verse 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? So all the things he had hidden, man. Right? It's coming out in the open, man. Strong's H4710. Match Panim. Match Panim. And that's the word for hidden. And it says what? A secret. You see? Right? All these things that had that had hidden the secrets that had hidden man is coming up, B. You see? Right? All the lies and the hypocrisy man is coming up, B. You see? Right? You see um to hide by covering over. You see? That's what they do, B. Right? Whoa. To hide from discovery. So he saw what's that is one in Jeremiah boy that says um when they said um when they said of God see you know what I mean <laughs> Yeah Psalm seventy three Psalm 73, and then you get shot, shot. And 11, and they say, how does God know? <laughs> uh, that's what they say, B. And it's their knowledge in the most high. Imagine that. That's what they say, B. But the Lord sees everything, man. You can't stop the eyes of the Lord, B. Right? Kahala, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai.